The summit actually is a culmination of almost two years' work in the Territory and the School of Sport Education undertook a physical literacy approach back in 2021 and from there we've been uh, organising workshops to build people's awareness of physical literacy. We've formed a lot of connections across agencies and across sectors in the NT and that's, that is what we're hoping to achieve is to grow that network across the NT. Physical literacy is important because as our program tries to achieve, it's very holistic in the way that it tries to develop children. Um, so for us, the physical domain is obviously a, a real focus for us, but the psychological domain is also important because we're trying to develop emotional regulation in the students. We use the sport of basketball as a vehicle to do a term called healing-centered sport. Uh, we travel to some of the most remote and vulnerable communities in the Southern Hemisphere of Australia and uh, we use a lot of these concepts around healing-centered sport to get our, our impact. We're trying to um, get kids to develop their physical literacy in a range of ways. We've got some um, intervention groups that really target children who uh, need to have some more development with their confidence and skills of physical activity. Some of the benefits we're seeing are relationships that are being built um, in the classroom and outside of the classroom, development of physical skills and overall confidence in the children when participating in physical activity. To be physically literate is to have an awareness of your own body, your own capacities, your limitations, um, your strengths, and that can bring a lot of confidence. And there's health benefits, there's other benefits, but it's also just being at one in the body that you're in and being part of the world.